is David Stein, President and CEO of Kuyu Silver, and I wanted to uh, leave a quick video note about the uh, press release we put out today, our second batch of Silver King's drill results from our fall 2023 program. Um, lots and lots of really interesting and exciting takeaways from this, to be honest, this program, but I'm going to focus on two major, uh, major items. One is um, within the Campbell Crawford zone, the main zone where we made the discovery earlier this year. Um, although we had a spectacular, you know, over 1% uh, silver intersection there in this, in this press release, um, I think it's really exciting that we're really building out uh, this network of veins and our knowledge of it, uh, you know, this buried target. Uh, we, if you recall from earlier last year, when we discovered it, we we knew about two veins on surface, but really only drilled one of them, which was the Angus vein. Uh, now, if you look at the map on our press release, you can see um, at least seven veins that can that are kind of at least that we know are longer that are correlated from hole to hole. And then there's a couple other, several other veins, in fact, that we've hit in single holes that we're not sure how big they are or where they go yet. Um, but the point is that when you look at the other sort of major mines in the Cobalt camp, whether it's Kerr Lake on our properties to the south or the Cobalt town itself, uh, you almost always see this sort of network of veins that are intersecting with one another and all of them end up being part of the mine plan. So it's really good that we're seeing that with the Campbell Crawford zone and it's really starting to shape up like a, you know, sort of like a legitimate uh, new uh, Cobalt Ontario style deposit. Um, the second big uh, part of this press release uh, is the step out. Um, 250 meters to the west on the Air Geod property, we did one drill hole. We hit, uh, not only did we hit vein mineralization in another blind target at depth, but we, uh, we had our best or our highest grade ever Cobalt intersection to date, uh, by Kui at least. 1.64% uh, cobalt and you know the cobalt and the silver are associated really together so when we get those high grades of either cobalt or silver uh, I mean it's it's fantastic it's it really proves our model um, and you know it likely means that there's silver not too far away from there uh, higher grade silver I mean there was silver in that drill hole uh, so um, so that's really exciting. Um, it doesn't appear to be the Clark vein that we had that we mapped on surface there. It's a different vein, so we've called it the Moran vein for now. And um, we uh, we're very uh, you know to be able to step out that far, hit uh, on our first hole is fantastic. It's really kind of proving the model that we're starting to develop here. This is a new exploration model uh, to target these uh, these structures at depth, uh, which can blow out into these higher grade you know vein zones. Uh, that just would have been missed by the uh, miners 100 years ago. So uh, so the Air Geod discovery is really, really exciting as well. Um, perhaps even, you know, more important than the 12,000 gram per ton hole uh, intersection. And, uh, and yeah, so we'll leave it there. Please contact us if you have any questions. We're very, very excited uh, to go back in 2024 and uh, keep this momentum going on this uh, fantastic project.